Are you aware that even a small error in your SSI payment schedule can cause a delay in your check? Think of the anxiety you'd feel if you had no idea when your next paycheck would come. To help you avoid unpleasant surprises and financial stress, we've taken the time to thoroughly examine the Social Security payment schedule for June 2024 in today's video. If you're interested in learning how to better manage your SSI benefits, you might want to stay a little longer. On top of that, you won't want to miss our unexpected recommendations. Hello and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, the channel where all the newest information about stimulus packages is delivered. I am your Ali, and I am here today to tell you about some great news. To ensure you never miss a beat on all things stimulus-related, be sure to subscribe and enable notifications before we jump into today's updates. During these difficult times, we are here to keep you informed and provide you the power you need. Okay, then I'll jump right in. Learn all the ins and outs of the Social Security payment schedule for June 2024, including some key points that many people miss in today's video. The Social Security payment schedule for June 2024 is being unpacked in today's video. It can make a world of difference for people who depend on Supplemental Security Income SSI to know precisely when their payments are going to arrive. We'll go over. The precise due dates, the process for creating the plan, and some obscure details that might end up saving you a ton of trouble. In addition, we will provide advice on how to handle payment problems. Stay tuned because these insights might well be the key to getting your SSI benefits when you need them without any hassle. I promise you, there are some surprises in store for you that you simply must not miss. We should take a moment to define Supplemental Security Income SSI before moving. On to the payment schedule. Supplemental Security Income SSI is a government program that assists low-income individuals who are blind, aged, or disabled. Food, clothing, and a roof over one's head can be easily met with the funds provided. Not Social Security taxes, but regular tax revenues support the program. This means that even people who have never worked or contributed to Social Security can get it. Millions of Americans rely on Supplemental Security Income SSI to cover basic living expenses. Disability and age are not the only factors that determine SSI eligibility. Also, uh, there are financial considerations. To be eligible, people's income and resources must be very low. A number of things are considered by the Social Security Administration SSA, one of which is whether or not you are receiving any other forms of assistance. The fact that SSI offers more than simply financial aid is another crucial part of the program. Medicaid is another way that SSI provides access to necessary medical care. Medicaid is a health insurance program that helps pay for medical care such as Doctor visits, hospital stays, prescription drugs, and other treatments, and eligibility for SSI is an automatic qualification for Medicaid. Medicaid is a health insurance program for low-income families and individuals that is supported by the federal government. The state is in charge of its administration, so the precise advantages and prerequisites could change based on your location. The income and resource requirements for Medicaid might be met automatically if you qualify for Supplemental Security Income SSI. This implies that getting health insurance doesn't need you to. Fill out any extra forms or satisfy any other requirements. Your SSI benefits and Medicaid enrollment will be handled in tandem. You can get a lot of important medical care once you sign up for Medicaid. All aspects of healthcare, from routine screenings and immunizations to treatments for both short-term and long-term. Illnesses fall under this category. Medical procedures such as checkups, hospital stays, operations, and unexpected medical crises can be partially covered by Medicaid. Medicaid may also cover the cost of certain prescription drugs. People who have long-term health problems and depend on medication to control their symptoms will find this extremely crucial. Ensuring that you have access to the meds you need to stay healthy can be financially burdensome, but Medicaid can assist. In addition to medical coverage, SSI also grants eligibility for a range of assistance programs. Helping people live more independently and with better quality of life is the primary goal of these programs. Assistance in obtaining gainful employment job training, and vocational rehabilitation are all examples of the kinds of services that fall under this category. Supplemental Security Income SSI recipients may also be qualified for food stamps, the Supplemental Nutrition Aid Program SNAP, and Housing Aid, among other programs. Section 8 provides supplementary benefits that can ease financial burdens and guarantee access to essentials. To find out if you qualify for Supplemental Security Income SSI, it's best to consult with an expert or the Social Security Administration SSSA. The qualifications can be complicated. In order. To establish your eligibility for Supplemental Security Income SSI, 
the Social Security Administration, SSA, will meticulously examine the information you provide regarding your income, assets, and health condition. Notifying the Social Security Administration, SSA, of any changes to your medical condition or financial status is essential if you are determined to be eligible for Supplemental Security Income, SSI. As a whole, SSI provides a lot more than only cash aid. It helps low-income people gain access to healthcare, support programs, and other benefits that can change their lives for the better. Supplemental Security Income SSI beneficiaries can get extra help paying for necessities like food and medical care from many states through programs like Medicaid. In order to fully grasp the significance of the payment schedule, it is crucial to have a firm grasp of the fundamentals of SSI. For many, Supplemental Security Income SSI is a lifeline, and any interruption in payments can cause immense financial hardship. Now, we will examine the SSI payment plan for June 2024. In order to organize your money and make sure you have all you need, knowing the exact dates your checks will arrive is vital. But SSI payments are expected to be distributed on June 1, 2024. One thing must be kept in mind. It is possible to change the due date if the first is a federal holiday or a weekend. Your money could arrive a day or two early because of this. If, for example, June 1st falls on a Saturday, then your payment is expected to be received on Friday, May 31st. Similarly, if June 1st falls on a Sunday, you can also anticipate receiving your payment on May 31st. The purpose of this change is to eliminate any potential delay in the payment process for recipients. Subsidy payments are handled by the Social Security Administration in a particular manner, intended to maintain a steady and predictable performance. While most payments are due on the first of every month, there are instances where this is not always the case. You must also be aware that Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI benefits are different from Supplemental Security Income SSI payments. In contrast to SSDI, KB, which is dependent on the recipient's birth date and follows a different timetable, SSI payments are stable and predictable. Aiming for the first of every month without fail. You can better manage your budget if you keep yourself informed about these dates. If you are anticipating your check and it doesn't arrive as expected, it could cause undue tension if you miss this information. Now that the June 2024 timeline is crystal apparent, let's talk about how you may verify the status of your payment to make sure. Everything is on track. Preventing delays and financial strain requires being proactive. Using the internet facilities provided by the Social Security Administration is one of the simplest ways to verify your SSI payment status. You may get a lot of information by making an account with my Social Security on their official websites. This involves making sure your personal information is current, reviewing your payment history, and confirming the estimated payment date. If you would rather not utilize their online services, you may still contact the Social Security Administration by phone to inquire on the status of your payment. Any questions can be directed to their toll-free number, which is 1-800-772-1213. Calling in will be much faster if you have your identifying information, such as your social security number, on hand. The Social Security Express app is another helpful resource that's compatible with both Android and iOS smartphones. You can keep tabs on your payments and get to other important facts from anywhere using this app. It is also wise to check your bank. Account on a regular basis to make sure your SSI payments have been deposited. Most payments are processed through direct deposit, which is both faster and safer than getting a paper check. Keeping an eye on your payment status can help us catch any problems or inconsistencies early. In this approach, you may deal with problems quickly without jeopardizing your budget. Having learned how to check your payment status, we will now go over some typical problems that people experience and how to fix them in relation to their SSI payments. Avoiding unnecessary hassle and wasted time is possible with a plan B in place. Not getting your payment on the due date is a typical problem. The video for today has come to a close. When we make the next video, I'll see you all again. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future uploads.